Today, it's going to happen. I don't care what it takes. This big idiot is going to die in just one hit. As it stands currently, I can kill him consistently in two. That means I need to do in the neighborhood of 666,000 damage in a single shot. Currently, the majority of my damage comes from here, a harp crossbow that fires five arrows. Each of those has a chance to split into five arrows themselves for 25. Each of those 25 arrows is tipped with a firework that deals 4,129 damage. So that by itself is about 100,000 damage, not including any of the damage from the bow itself. Self. Aside from that, we use strength potions for extra damage. I was using shadow potions, but someone was kind enough to point out that shadow potions don't boost range damage. There are several ways I think I can accomplish this feat. The one that I was trying is the slowest and most painful. It's basically waiting for a 5 times multi shot to come up when I hit the boss, which should be about 1 in 100 chance. But I don't really feel like running the boss 100 times. That's just gonna take too long. So I'm gonna try and find a better arrow, level 108, which should be an extra 1000 damage per arrow. Or potentially even a better bow, level 108 will get lots of extra damage or armor that has double stack of range damage. So for now, it's just going to be a lot of running through dungeons. Because finding any of the items actually in an upgraded form is going to take hours for any one of those. Lucky for you guys, I have nothing better to do with my time. You know, even finding just this bow with extra damage instead of infinity would be all the damage I need, I think. So I'm at least optimistic in the fact that we have lots of options. I'm still not sure if any of them are actually going to work, but I have to have confidence. But if I don't maintain optimism, it's going to be a long 12 hours. You know what? This will be good practice. Mini Golem, one shot, one dungeon down, one reward wasted. While I'm at it, I might as well salvage some of these uniques I tend to be stacking up because I've run the final boss so many times. There's an easy few thousand emeralds which we can spend at the blacksmith. Before we do that, we need to bump our gear score up. I can get mine as high as 107, but you have to go through a loading screen for this to take effect, so I'm just going to enter here and then leave. Now I can buy with confidence. My first unique, 104 shortbow. Only a few items later, Titan's shroud. And then a master's katana at 105. And then a butterfly crossbow. This is his as I've ever gotten, though I'm not finding what I want. And a red snake, one item later. Looking at this, it could probably do some damage with proper multi-shot itself, though I don't think as much as Arbo. And some 108 Maulers, those are pretty rare. And a 106 Eternal Knife, I can't believe how many uniques I've gotten over this 5,000 emerald. And I didn't even mention the Wither Armor. In case you were wondering about those Maulers, they have Critical Hit, Radiance, Swirling, Shockwave, pretty damn good. And after spending all the Salvage Emeralds, I've only gotten one Mystery Armor, which doesn't have what I'm after. This apparently can stack double range damage, so that's exactly what I'm going to be looking for. As long as it has cowardice on top of that, so you can see why those are some long odds. And a 105 Grave Bane, and some wild bow called the Purple Storm. Doggy Swamp has a chance to spawn the armor I need, and the scatter crossbow, so I'm going to run that as well. And I'm actually going to build these right now, that way I can just wear them as I'm running to keep my gear score high, because I don't want to keep switching my armor back and forth every time I go through a loading screen. I don't have enough enchantment points left somehow, so my triple prospector pickaxe is going away. Well, an ember robe is not something I'm particularly looking for, if I do find a good 107 one, I can use it as part of my speed build. This one's not quite there. I like it because of the artifact cooldown, but I need at least one artifact cooldown down here to make it worth my while. And speaking of which, I found this somewhere along my run. 25% artifact cooldown, 27, 27, 27%. So that in total adds up to over 100% artifact cooldown. That'll definitely be fun for later. A unique harp crossbow, that's just the thing we're looking for. Unfortunately, it's level 104, but that still could potentially work. It's kind of sad because it's actually really close. Despite the fact that it's the same level as my current one, it has power which will give it 33% extra damage, which would be enough to get us there. But without that extra multi-shot, it's just salvageable. A unique one of four hunters promise. Not what I'm looking for. And another mystery armor, it's garbage. Two mystery armors on this run, mostly based on attack speed. Don't worry, I won't show you every piece of garbage I pick up. I just want to share a little bit of my pain with you. This is the first fireworks arrow I found in like an hour, and it's level 104, so it's useless to me. I'm also going to be running the desert temple a little bit because I can find a mystery armor and it's just a lot of fun. And that is something I'm kind of starting to lack run after run after run. Because update, it's already been I don't know how many hours and I haven't found one thing that I can use yet. But that all changes, right? Never mind. Here's a 104 Whirlwind, which is one of my favorites. Too bad it's not a higher level. Triple Radiance though, for if I want to be super lazy. Another 106 Emperor Robe. Hopefully this one has cooldowns. Not a single one. Goodbye. Some people were also recommending I could use armor like this to give me 50% extra artifact damage 
damage because arrows are an artifact. And yes, they certainly are, but they're actually ranged damage, so the artifact damage doesn't affect those in any way. Otherwise, that would have been perfect. It might just be that I'm going crazy, but I feel like the fireworks arrow is like the rarest thing in the game, which is why it feels so good when I find a level 107 version of it. That only took three hours. Plus, it's rare, so it does extra damage. It does 4468, which is not as much as I hoped it would do. My 105 does 4202, the other 105, 4129, so it does more, but not by as much as I thought. I was hoping we'd be closer to 5,000. According to my calculations, that should be good for an extra 10 to 15,000 damage, depending on how many multi shots I get, which may or may not be good enough. So now it's either a better bow or mystery armor to hopefully eke out a little more damage. But now that I've found the better firework arrow, I feel a million times better. After spending I don't know how much money, we got mystery armor, which isn't good enough. There's a 104 bone bow, not quite what I'm looking for, and more mystery armor. 10 arrows per bundle. That's huge. What would I do without armor like this? And I'm going back to Soggy Swamp again because Mystery Armor and the Scatter Crossbow can both spawn here. That last red yielded me two Mystery Armors, both of which are garbage. And because they're garbage and the fact that I can only handle so much Soggy Swamp, let's spend what little money I have. Not one Mystery Armor, it's also garbage. I would like to point out I still haven't found a single one that does range damage yet. So in light of that statement, let's go try the final boss. This all feels way too familiar. So this is going to be the first time with my level 107 firework. Boss is up. Firework on, kablamo! Okay, that was only a two times multi shot, but it did almost take two thirds of the health. So that's a good start. With a four times multi shot, that might just work. With a five, it definitely will. All right, round two. I'm feeling confident. We need a four times multi shot or better. And kablamo! We got a two times again, with less damage, suspiciously. I guess because of the chain reaction, it might be able to react off him once in a while. I'm not sure. When you fall through the ground, but actually land somewhere. This one was with a 3 times multi shot and 2 times reaction. So, yeah, I'm thinking with a 4 times multi shot, this could actually work. The biggest challenge now, aside from this kind of stuff happening, is me falling asleep. I'm starting to zone out that I'm making stupid mistakes. And just to make this whole process even more fun, the character is now running out of control. Every time I spawn a potion, he doesn't know where to go until he runs into the corner. Then I have to restart the entire level. And that's happened three times in a row now. And now the boss won't even spawn. Movement is bad enough. Like, I can deal with the movement a little bit, but when the boss doesn't spawn, that's gonna make this a lot harder. And again, no boss to be found. We just fired off a four multi-shot, so this would have been the test, but the boss won't spawn. My new strategy is gonna be spawning the boss as soon as I run in here, then spawn the potions. It might work that way. All right, let's give this a try. It's gonna be difficult considering I can't move properly, but he's there waiting for me. So as long as I can get close and then give him one of these. Is he stuck? Oh, my arrows go through him now. That's fun. Let's start over. This one is going to work and it's going to fire five arrows once the boss spawns. Nope, he's not showing up. Am I allowed to just like leave then? I've always wanted to stand on his dock, but my idiot can't walk out there. You know what? I'll try again in the morning. Maybe whatever this is will fix itself. The next day, this seems to be working as long as I spawn the boss in first. It's a little annoying, but I can do this. Did you see it? It was a four times multi shot. It didn't kill him. But it only had one chain reaction. I need to watch a replay on that one, but it was so close. After watching the replay, it was a four times multi shot with one reaction. It took about 95% of his health. He had just 5% left. I think with a second reaction, that will kill him. So it's back to the waiting game. And on checking the replay, it looks like each one of those arrows is hitting for about 30,000 damage. It's gonna hit less here, obviously, because no strength potion. Just a little matter of luck at this point. Wake up, you idiot. We've got work to do. Okay. And that was a really weak one. Wow. This might actually be easier if I can maneuver him up into this area because the more things that explode off the walls, the more damage he's going to get. I never really thought about that before. I just need to carefully spawn a potion in the right location. Pick that up, change my armor, then hit him all before he hits me. I was getting so frustrated with this idea. Felt like I was spinning my wheels for the past few hours, but now I have hope again. There's a strength potion. Can I need to get him going the other way very slowly? Very slowly because I need to keep half an eye on him. Now to switch my armor. Armor switched. I need him in this pocket. I'm going to pick up the strength potion, then try and blast him without getting hit. I need that 100% damage boost. Okay, here it goes. Gonna hit him with that and that. Oh, I missed entirely. Oh, he still got full health though. I can still do this. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Okay, I am back to full health again. My strength potion is about to wear off, but I can use my other firework arrow. That didn't really work anyway. It was a three times multi shot with none of the rebounds. Cows are here though. I watched the replay. I think that's gonna work. I think I was just too far away when I fired my shot. All right, this could be the one. Ready? Oh, it was so close. Four times with the chain reaction. A little bit less damage than last time somehow. Do we think the cows can help? 
the cows might be able to help. Okay, this time we're gonna have Strength and Shadow Potion on our side, so he can't actually see me right now. I should be able to get very close if I want to, and be able to attack him very easily. So we'll try it maybe from this angle? That didn't work either. And he doesn't seem to spawn the cows until after I hurt him, so we can't use those. This was a 3 multi-shot and 2 chain reaction. It got him that low. If I get a 4 and a 2, I'm so confident. It's just gonna take forever to do this. What do you think the odds are of spawning 10 potions and not one of them is a strength potion? I'm pretty tempted right now to use that quadruple cooldown armor to hopefully make a better looting build. But I don't really know how I would even do that at this point or if it's actually gonna save me any time. Because if I could just find a better bow, it would be that easy. And I don't really know what's gonna be faster at this point, trying to find the crossbow I need with all the proper enchantments or waiting for the proper multi-shot to fire on the boss. And I think I just got my answer. I got the movement bug again on this level so if that's going to be happening the boss is definitely going to be faster because this level is going to be basically impossible to beat with the movement bug. Since I've been having a lot of time to think while waiting for my potions to reset, I've realized I might have been doing this wrong the entire time. Say I have a monster 107 claymore that has swirling and critical hit on it. Say I combine that with the right armor and the right artifacts build up a powerful shot, drink a few potions and hit it, we get 310,000 damage and that might not have even been a proper critical hit. Given that I can do 300,000 damage to this guy, I could do 300,000 damage to the boss. I don't think that's enough to one-shot it, so I need more damage. But maybe that's not going to work after all. Because if I'm currently doing 300,000 damage at most, I would have to double that and I'm not finding a way to do that. The most I could get it is an extra 35% damage on my armor, I believe, which would only be about another 100,000 damage. So while this was a fun theory, I just don't think it's possible. But here's another very interesting idea. Watch what happens. So if I charge this up and hit this dummy, 130,000 for a single shot. So say we take 130,000, multiply it by 5, and I think we'll get to where we need to go. And I really hope I'm right about this. Heart Stealer, uh, it was a fun idea, but this thing's gotta go. And I even have another one of these bows with power, but without multi-shot, it can't work. Multi-shot plus power would be huge damage. Let's try this again. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. To the boss. Now I just need to execute this properly. I've been doing it so much the other way that it's kind of muscle memory. Anyways, I think I got this. Firework is on. Strength potion is on. Gotta weaken him and then use my gong. In whatever order I want. And... Oh, it doesn't do it. It's so close. But we're not done yet. Because look what can happen. If we shoot him enough times, eventually we'll get a few shot. Kinda like that. And there's an extra 12,000 damage. We just need one of those to trigger on our multi-shot. This should really be like a 1 in 5, 1 in 6 chance. I said I was going to accomplish this. I'm going to do it one way or another. This could be it. Turn and face me. Oh, it went right through his legs. But I mean, it wasn't a multi-shot anyway, but I've got to remember to aim for his legs up. I was wrong when I initially said this was going to be like a 1 in 5 type chance because I need my exploding shot and my multi-shot to trigger. But I just realized that my bomb actually happens every 5 shots, so it'll be this one. So now that I know that helpful little tidbit, it really is going to be about a 1 in 5 chance. Just have my strength potion, 2, 3, Three, four, arrow on, walk up to him, charge this shot, hit him with this, and kablamo! That didn't work at all. Let's try this again. So we got one, two, three, four, fifth shot's the fuse shot. One, two, three, four, pick up the strength potion, activate my firework, run up to idiot, charge the shot, hit him with this, and blam! Okay, that was multi-shot, it just didn't hit him with any of the multi-shots. And then my guy goes running off to the far side of the map for a minute. Sometime later, here's the problem I'm having. I can do everything right, get up real close to him, barely, and then when I go to shoot, I can't really aim my arrow because my guy kind of points in whatever direction he wants. That was absolutely the best hit I've had in a while. Simply because of that movement bug. Once I kind of lock on, I'm pointed whatever direction I'm pointed in and can't change it from there. And these movement bugs are so bad that I don't think I can actually do this anymore. I spent the last hour just trying to get a clean shot on him like this, and this is the result. If I had more confidence in what was happening, I would simply grind out a better bow. There's a few options I would take, but for now, I just don't think I can do it. I've been at this for so many hours now, I feel physically unwell, so I'm gonna take a break for a bit. I'll figure this out next time. The sad part is, it really would just be as easy as getting some damage in this enchantment. 